Hi, my name is Jason Webster of Beck Cybers, Practical Farm Research Innovation League. Today we're continuing our tour across the Midwest talking with growers who are signed up in Beck's 300 Bushel Challenge. Today we are in Michigan Town, Indiana with David Redding. And uh, David, we were here, uh, I guess about June 4th was the first visit we did on this 300 Bushel Challenge. And we were wet then. How, how have conditions changed since the last time we were here? We're still wet. Still wet, yeah. That, that seems to be popular, uh, popular thing we're seeing these days. Yeah, can't ask for any dry weather. <laughs> yeah. What's the corn look like? What's your overall stance? I mean, we can see a little bit of the corn here behind us. What's your overall view of how the corn looks today? Uh, the corn looks really good right now, but we got a little bit of uh, disease starting in the bottom, getting a little bit of gray leaf spot going on. Okay. Um, and you pulled some leaves out in the field that should yeah. have some of the gray leaf? Yeah. There at the bottoms, it's just starting to come up, so. We'll probably end up start running fungicide here before long after tassel. Okay. Now part of your 300 bushel plan earlier in the season was to make a V5 fungicide application. With the wet weather we've had, were you able to do that? No, we was too busy doing everything else and it was just rained out. So okay. we turned it back to after tassel. Okay. So now we'll come in with a tassel treatment. What product are you thinking of putting on? We're going with quilt and then we're going with the Nutripoly. It has a zinc, magnesium, a little bit of nitrogen and sulfate in it. Okay, so you'll use that as a tank mix additive. Mm -hmm. Okay. How will you put the fungicide on? Will it be with an airplane or a ground rig? Airplane. All right, David, last time we were here, you, you hadn't side dressed yet. Uh, after we left, a couple days later, you came in and you side dressed about 180 pounds in, right? Correct. Okay. So, how many total pounds of nitrogen do we have out on this 300 bushel challenge? Uh, we pre plant and row, row starter and then side dress, so we're right at 320 pounds. Okay. And as we walk out into the field, we've got some areas where we're, we're showing some nitrogen deficiency. And that's due to all the rainfall that we've had this year. What, what do you think you've had total rainfall-wise since corn planting? Since June 1st, we've had 10 inches. Okay. And then May, what are you thinking in May? We had 5 inches in May. So not quite 20 inches of rain, just under. We've been in many areas where we've been over that 20-inch that range. But uh, that's definitely led to some nitrogen issues out in the field. And it's going to be very interesting to see if we've got enough nitrogen to get us through grain fill. With us today is Josh Redding. Josh is the local seed advisor for this particular area. Josh, tell us a little bit about crop conditions in the area that you serve. What, what are you seeing out there? Um, roughly across my whole area, um, right now we're seeing probably anywhere from 30 to 40 percent in very poor conditions. Um, a lot of water still setting, a lot of Yellowstone plants, um, and, and probably in my whole district as a whole, we're seeing maybe 10 to 15 percent that's up in that, I guess you would rate it as good to excellent. Um, but then again, you still got the water spots out in the fields that no one can see and all that corn's gone. I mean, um, it's just one of those things that the water never could get away and it's just the corn didn't have the oxygen and it's dying. Be sure to check back in with us next month. We'll come back in right before harvest. We'll do some yield checks out here in the field and we'll see how close we can get to some high yielding corn such as 300 bushel. In the meantime, this has been Jason Webster, Beck Cybers, Practical Farm Research, Innovation League.